Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen the mathematical analysis of non-recursive algorithm. Now we are continuing with the same. But in the last video, we have seen uh, non, uh, mathematical analysis for one algorithm that is identifying uh, identifying the maximum element among the array. In that, we were having only one for loop. This is a different variant. Here we'll be just having a three for loop. So we have to just go with the three summations. I'll just tell you how you have to solve this one. This algorithm I have taken is matrix multiplication. You all know the basics of matrix multiplication. We have to multiply two matrix and then the result has to be showed in the resultant matrix. Here we are taking two algorithms A and B. We are multiplying these and the result will be stored in the resultant matrix that is C. Okay. So here you can just see we must have for three for loops for this one for i is equals to 0 to n minus 1. For j is equals to 0 to n minus 1. One is for row and one is for column and one is for the resultant matrix that is for k is equals to 0 to n minus 1. So now we have to see how I have to take the my summation for this one. As I have just explained you in the previous video, summation we can have a function. I can just have anything either m of n, c of n or f of n. Anything you can just take as a function. So if we have only one for loop, I will take summation i is equals to 0 to n minus 1. Whatever is there in the for loop that is lower bound and the upper bound that I need to take. Here we have three for loops. So I have to go with the three summations. So first one with respect to first for loop that is summation i is equals to 0 to n minus 1. Then second summation is with second for loop j is equals to 0 to n minus 1. And third one with third for loop k is equals to 0 to n minus 1 and then the basic operation. I am repeating for non-recursive algorithms always the basic operation is 1 because it is not recursively executing is it not. So here this is the basic operation of the algorithm c of ij is equals to c of ij plus a of ik into b of kj that is multiplication and then storing the result into the resultant matrix. Now the question is how to solve this one if we have only one summation if I don't have these two I have only one summation means directly I can just solve and I can just write the answer but here we have three summations how to solve this one first the innermost summation has to be solved and then it comes to the second and then comes to the outermost summation okay now always if you want to solve any summation here there should be a constant Without constant, if you have any order of growth like n, n square, n cube, n minus 1, all those things, we cannot solve. We have to just take that out and then we have to solve. I will just show you that also in this algorithm. First, I will keep i is equals to 0 to n minus 1 as it is. And then j is equals to 0 to n minus 1 as it is. Now, we are going to solve this one, the innermost. k is equals to 0 to n minus 1. You know the formula upper bound minus lower bound plus the basic operation which is the upper bound here n minus 1 lower bound is 0 plus the basic operation is it not so this is how I have to write so here n minus 1 minus 0 plus 1 this minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled I will be just left out with n I will write i is equals to 0 to n minus 1 j is equals to 0 to n minus 1 I will get n over here as I have told you if any order of growth is present then I cannot solve this one here there should be a constant what I will do I will write this as it is i is equals to 0 to n minus 1 then I will take this out n I will take out n then summation j is equals to 0 to n minus 1. If I take out 1 n then I will be just left out with 1. Now I can solve this one. Okay. So now once again i is equals to 0 to n minus 1. This is the outermost. I will keep it as it is. 
then I'll solve this. N I have to keep as it is. Okay. Now I have to solve this same thing. Upper bound minus lower bound plus the basic operation. N minus 1 minus 0 plus 1. Once again minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled. Here I'll be left out with N. Already I have N over here. So this will become N into N. N square. So summation I is equals to 0 to N minus 1 N square. Now I have to solve this one. As I have told you once again I cannot just solve this. If, it, if there is a N square here because this is a order of growth. I will take out N square outside and I is equals to 0 to N minus 1 1. I will be just having this. Yes. So next how to solve. Once again N square will be as it is upper bound minus lower bound plus the basic operation minus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled I will be left out with n n square into n is what it is n cube so I have just solved this and then I have to write the asymptotic notation even here also to write the asymptotic notation you must know under which case this algorithm will come whether it is best case worst case or average case even here also I am not dealing with only one number or one row in order to just identify the multiplication of the matrix you have to just traverse through all the rows and all the columns of both the algorithms so here this comes under average case average case means it is theta so m of n that is the function which I have taken belongs to theta of what order of growth I have got n cube. So I will just take n cube. This is the mathematical analysis for this matrix multiplication. Okay, If we have different for loops then we have to take a summation like this and then you have to solve it accordingly. Okay. And I have told you this is not the case that is not the case always we will be having a for loop in algorithms. If we don't have for loop then what we have to do for that I will take one more example one more algorithm and then I will just explain you how you have to do that one. Okay. This is the algorithm for finding the number of binary digits. As you all know binary digits means it is zeros and ones. Yes. So if we represent any number using 0 and 1 then this is called as a binary digit here this algorithm is to find the number of binary digits how many digits are there how many binary digits are there in this one by seeing you can see it is 4 because this is very small number if you are just going with a very large number for example some hundred binary digits hundreds of zeros and ones I'm writing you cannot just count it 1 2 3 4 like that right so I'll be just writing the algorithm for that one first I'll explain you how the algorithm is just going to work and then I'll just explain you how you have to find out the mathematical analysis for this one as you can see here I, I have just taken 1 0 0 1 so what is the value of n n is equals to 4 yes so initially count will be equal to 1 so I'll take count is equals to 1 while n greater than 1 what is n 4 is 4 greater than 1 condition is true if condition is true you have to just increment the count value count is equals to count plus 1 already count is having 1 so count is equals to 1 plus 1 so count is equals to 2 and you have to do n is equals to n divided by 2 and do you know why I have just put it like this this is called as the flooring function flooring and ceiling is it not so if I just write like this flooring function n is equals to 1.5 or some de decimal value if it comes means flooring means it will just come to the previous number that is 1. If I have written ceiling function like this okay if I have written right like the ceiling function then it will go to next number. If it is 1.1 .1, then it will go to 2. 1.2 1.3 till 1.9 how much may be the number if it is ceiling function then it will go to the next number if it is flooring function then it will come to the previous number 
whether it is 1.1 1.5 1.9 whatever it may be it will come to the previous number that is called as the flooring function i'll just tell you why here we have we are using this flooring function okay so here i have to make n is equals to n divided by 2 now n is equals to 4 divided by 2 that is 2 n is equals to 2 now once again it will just go to while loop because still while loop is not false so is 2 greater than 1 yes condition is true count is equals to count plus 1 previously what is the count 2 2 plus 1 is what 3 yes so this is while n greater than or equal to 1 2 greater than or equal to 1 yes condition is true now i have to do n is equals to n by 2 what is n it is 2 2 divided by 2 this is equal to 1 yes now once again it will go to while loop if it's go to while loop then what happens 1 what is n 1 is 1 is greater than or equal to 1 yes the condition is true now increment the value of count what is previous count 3 so count is equals to 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4 it will come to n is equals to n by 2 this is 1 by 2 now comes the flooring 0 0.5 is it not it is 0 0.5 i cannot just compare this value so with respect to this flooring function if i use this flooring function it will become 0 because it is coming to the previous number n is equals to 0 is 0 greater than or equal to 1 condition is false and then it will just come out of the while loop and it will return count what is count 4 how many digits are there here 4 digits so count is equals to 4 there are 4 binary digits in the algorithm this is how the algorithm works and now here you can just ask me if you want to take a summation then there should be a lower bound and the upper bound but here we don't have any for loop we cannot just take the lower bound and upper bound because here we have a while loop not the for loop is it not in such cases what we have to do always in non-recursive algorithms we have to just think that if there is a while loop yes if there is a while loop then it will just go for a longer time so we have to just find out we have to just take the lowest order of growth what we have in the table before that we have a order of growth table in that order of growth table first we'll be just having the log n2 base 2 this is this lowest one then n then n into log n2 base 2 then n square then n cube then 2 power n then n factorial these are the order of growths we have that means this is the n factorial factorial function is the fastest growing function that means if the algorithm is very fast then we'll go we'll be getting n factorial then 2 power n n cube n square n into log n to base 2 n and log n to base 2 this is the least okay this is the slowest we'll just consider fine these are the order of growths we have so here if you have a while loop then no need to calculate the mathematical analysis directly i can consider log n to base 2 okay this is not very faster this is the lesser only so we'll consider this one directly we can just write it as log n to base 2 so here we, log n to base 2 we can write but what is the asymptotic notation asymptotic notation it is as usual how we will just calculate okay so here in this also i have to traverse through all the numbers i'm not leaving any number so here the order of growth will be theta so as i have just told you m of n is equals to before that i have to write log n to base 2 plus 1 that is the basic operation means this is the this is having the while loop so i'll be just writing log n to base 2 plus 1 no need to calculate directly i can just write it so m of n belongs to theta of log n to base 2 
this is the mathematical analysis for the algorithm which is not having any for loop which is having while loop whichever non recursive algorithm you have a while loop then you will be just having the mathematical analysis as as theta of log n to base 2 okay these are some of the examples i have just showed you all the variations of uh, algorithms in non recursive algorithm in the next video i'll be just taking the mathematical analysis for recursive algorithms thank you